The Los Angeles Coliseum, a place Traveler calls home and the crowd loves to fight on when supporting the USC Trojans. A Big Ten showdown coming conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Washington Huskies taking on the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Washington likely to try to boot it deep to get things started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So USC's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Really nice pass there. You know the expectations at USC every year are sky high. Not just to win the conference, but to be in the national championship discussion. But to do that, they need this guy right here to play at a high level week in and week out because this guy has the skills and the tools to take them there. Oh, he had him right down the middle and it just squirted right through his fingers and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. They'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and 10 from the 31. Now the play fake. Going for the big play. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. The Trojans will have it first and 10. He's going to pass. He'll take another shot here. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established you make a couple throws you lead your offense down the field you score right off the bat could not have been a better start for that qb lining up to tack one more onto that lead And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 nothing to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Washington Huskies offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll go to the ground. He is going nowhere. 
stopped at the line of scrimmage. And stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Finds a spot in the middle. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Wants to throw on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose, and I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical, because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his target down the middle. And he's brought down after a nice game. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. And that's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Defense were always trying to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip. Get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Running back searching for a hole. Shakes off the tackler. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You gotta get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They've got the screen set up. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's gonna be a touch short. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there, but we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. On fourth down, looking to pass. Finds his tight end. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. With the catch, it's Jackson. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. This crowd knows when to bring it. They'll throw it from the red zone. Catch in the middle, it's Hunter. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They want to just keep throwing it. Makes the catch! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. 
it's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. On first and goal, they have a chance to answer with a score of their own. Used to play fake, now to throw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. He's loose down the left side. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Getting the sack, getting the fumble. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The give to the back. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Fires to the tight end. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Doesn't SC always seem to have a quarterback right out of central casting and one that'll pick up a first down for you with his arm? Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter the year. It just doesn't matter the number. It continues to churn out. They find those guys just such an easy place to recruit. When you got that kind of pedigree, you always find superstars. at the Fires into traffic, intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. When you're playing from behind, you can't afford to give it up the way they did the last drive, David. No doubt. You cannot give the football away again. Turnovers are the biggest stats in winning and losing games. You're behind, Palmer. Take care of the ball, but we got to go get a score here. Yeah, and they just got to do a better job executing. I like the game plan so far for them, but they just need to go out and do a better job connecting the dots. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. That's a really good looking throw right there, and that was a tight spiral too. You guys remember the great Washington Husky quarterback, Warren Moon? I don't think anybody threw a more pretty ball than Warren Moon did. Tightest spiral I've ever seen. That right there reminded me of old number one. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He wants to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hunter. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Going for the big play. He's got it inside the 15. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Washington!
Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Grabbed on the outside, it's Hudson. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. If you put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. Second down coming up. To throw, it's Moss. He uncorks one deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. They'll throw it on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, they execute the in route. Now, how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. And the Trojans with the first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it on the move. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Gets open down the middle. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Trying to bully their way in. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Back to pass, it's Moss. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's caught! Touchdown, USC! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers.
Ready to try the point after. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. So an 82-yard drive there. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches and the score. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Here's the return from inside is 10. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in L.A. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the L.A. Coliseum. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. He'll start this drive firing. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short gain. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Washington right back to the line. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you could tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Completes it in the middle. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practiced, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Throws to the back. The quick out. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. Got his man downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Nice patience by the quarterback here working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. The Huskies are rolling down the field. They're going to throw it again. Fires to the right. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Really nice looking pinpoint throw there. And when I think back to Husky QBs, you think about Warren Moon, you think about Mark Brunel, the Heward brothers. What about Jake Browning? All made really good decisions. This guy, he's got a lot of arm talent, but he's also very smart. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. Finds his big tight end. 
They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Got some room, entered to the goal line. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Huskies! The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. He'll try to tack on one more. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. They marched 78 yards down the field, and it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets them 30 plus. They're not only ready to fight on, they're ready to deliver knockout punches with plays like that. Yeah, they, they typically are, and it's typically Hollywood scripts, right? Just beautiful playmakers, big bodies, fast bodies that highlight the famous celebrity quarterbacks. That's just what USC does. Comes out throwing on first down. Gets it out fast. And he's knocked down immediately, but a good pickup on that play. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive gain. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Wants to throw. It's Moss. Snags it over the middle. And they make the tackle, but it'll be enough for a first down, and we'll see if they get another playoff here in the third. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. He'll pull it on the read. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. The Trojans will snap it on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. 
Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game could end? Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And they've regained the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all of the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Off the play fake on first down. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat, and they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Kept it on the ground on first down, see if they stick with that plan on second. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. He's looking to throw it. Spits it out to the back. Caught near the sideline. It's Coleman. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of it. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Right back to the well. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Love the location of the throw on that slant pass. Put it out in front of the receiver. Put it on his face mask so he can catch it and try to advance. 
And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. Going for six. Touchdown, Huskies. They move on top here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. you got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Branch. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because this guy's practiced the situation before. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots, throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. Caught near the sticks. It's Marks. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. Looking to go up top on first down. He's got it down the middle. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Quick strike complete. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Man, that clock is ticking. That clock is ticking big time. I want to take shots down the field. I want to save my timeouts, and I want to try to get out of bounds here with the clock ticking down and us trailing by a score. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. They'll go to the air on third and short. Grab near the marker. It's Marks. The offense takes a timeout with 30 seconds left. And the Trojans getting set on first and 10. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards, still some time left. And he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. And he needed a little bit wider field as that one falls out of bounds. Nice job by this defense. You go dime package. Why? Because you know the offense is going to throw the football. Great job matching up. More skilled players on more skilled players. More speed on the field to defend the pass. A third and long coming up here. From the gun. Wants to pass. Going to take a shot. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Well, this defense has had the QB's number all game long. One of the reasons why is because this cornerback, when he's on an island, he's winning the 50-50 balls, and he's not letting anything get thrown over his head downfield. Great job in coverage, disguising what he's doing and knocking balls away. On fourth down, going to the air. Finds his man enough for the first. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver.
Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. So a drive there of 82 yards. And how about that for a capper, the likely game winner in the waning moments. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. He'll come out throwing on first down. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they fight him to the bitter end all the way down to putting some more numbers in the stat column, but they'll come up a little short as time expires. 